Fish farmers keep asking me this. Is azala really making your fish tank water richer in nutrients, or is it just another fish feed like duckweed? Stay with me, because today, I'll show you the real difference and how to use both for faster fish growth. Welcome back to Aquamarket 7, where we break down smart strategies for profitable fish farming. If you're new here, this is the channel that helps you cut costs, boost growth, and succeed as a modern farmer. Today's video was inspired by a farmer's question, and I know many of you have wondered the same thing. Let's dive in. I got a really smart comment from a farmer who's growing azala and duckweed together. They asked if azala actually makes fish tank water richer in nutrients, or if its main use is just as fish feed. That's a great question, and here's the answer. Azala is a small floating fern with something special inside, a blue-green algae called anabina. This algae helps azala fix nitrogen directly from the air. Now, what does that mean for your fish tank? It doesn't dump nitrates directly into the water, but it does help balance nutrients, reduce ammonia stress, and create a healthier ecosystem. On top of that, azala is rich in protein, about 25-30%, so it doubles as a natural low-cost fish feed. Duckweed works differently. It doesn't fix nitrogen from the air like azala, but it grows extremely fast and contains up to 35-40% to protein. Fish love it. Think of duckweed as a feed engine. It takes the nutrients already in your water, cleans it up, and turns it into fresh, edible feed for your fish. That's why farmers use it heavily to cut down feed costs. Quick question for you. If you had to choose only one for your tanks, would you pick azala or duckweed? Drop your answer in the comments, because I want to see which one farmers trust more. Now, here's the key difference when you combine both, if you grow both together, you get the best of both worlds. Duckweed gives you quick feed and faster harvest. Azala supports water balance and adds steady protein. Plus, when you reuse that water for irrigation, your crops will benefit from the organic matter and nutrients in it, like a mini aquaponic system. Here are a few tips if you're trying this. 1. Don't let azala or duckweed completely cover the tank. Your fish still need space to breathe and move. 2. Harvest regularly so it doesn't overgrow. 3. You can feed it fresh or sun-dry and mix it into fish meal. These way, you control water quality while reducing feed costs. So here's the truth. Azala is both a natural feed and a water balancer, while duckweed is your fast-growing feed machine. Together, they make a powerful combo for fish farming. If this video helped you understand the difference better, just imagine what you'll learn in my next videos. I share practical tips every week to help you cut costs and grow faster. So hit that subscribe button and join other smart farmers who are already applying these secrets. See you in the next one.